Good afternoon, everybody. We are here with the Tech Chase Major League Playoffs. I'm Ori, and I'm joined by Craig and Tom. We are your analyst desk for today. All day long, we'll be talking about uh, upcoming matches, what we've been thinking, and everything in between. So, guys, how are you doing today? Are you excited to see some awesome Smash Crew battle action? Yeah, it's been a good, solid, quicker than I would have thought. What is it? Eight weeks, seven weeks now, 14 yeah. games for each team. And it's all come down to this, a one day, six man, best of one single elimination bracket to determine the winner of the first Tech Chase series. One of the first collegiate crew battles here in Michigan. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited here to have Tom too, who was actually a competitor earlier in the season in this as well, uh, played for the team that was number one sitting right now, undefeated, trying to make that perfect season, the dream come alive. So it's going to be a good day to see if they can keep it rolling or to see if some of the underdogs might be able to pull it off and, and come out from underneath them. Very excited to see MSU continue their uh, undefeated streak today um, with a 16-0 season. But uh, <laughs> the, the true perfect then, season I'll, there. Until then, I will. Uh, I'll keep my biases limited. <laughs> Uh, that's, I mean, every, uh, I think all of us know at least a handful or everybody who is pretty much on each of these uh, teams here. So it's going to be hard to keep the biases aside for the most part. But I'm I'm just so excited to see a potential true perfect season or if one of these teams can finally play spoiler to MSU's utter dominance. Well, MSU is going to wait a little bit since they were the number one seed. There's a couple of play, almost not play in games, but they have a bye before they're going to get to play. First game of the day is actually going to be Concordia University versus Oakland. We can pull up that schedule and take a look here so we know what we can expect for the rest of the day today. Now, yeah. Concordia versus Oakland, um, that was one that Concordia actually played Oakland last week and was surprised to see them come out on top. Oakland was a really strong team earlier in the season, started to drop a few more as the season progressed, but Concordia, kind of that upstart team um, that has been making some waves this season. They split with Oakland in the regular season, but what are you two expecting to happen here in, the, in game one, number one of the day? Tom, I'll let you, you, you can kick this one off first, Tom. I'm really interested in seeing like how much the like range of player skill on both of these teams uh, comes into like play because I think both of them have at least two like very strong players with Yoder and uh, Jay Goody on Concordia and then Oakland having Broly and Spectral and obviously the other players on those teams are very strong but like we saw a tiebreaker between these two teams on uh, last Tuesday and we saw Broly versus Yoder and it like they've played I want to say like four times in the past week just through brackets um so it'll be interesting to see if that little rivalry that has kind of sparked from mm -hmm. first the uh the final like game of the regular season and then later on brackets for this michigan pr that's happening um it'll be really interesting to see how like if it goes down to the last players if that yeah. comes into account yeah i think that's a good point to make too um concordia Yoder has been putting in the time. He has been grinding. He has been improving throughout this entire season, not only in the tech chase, um, in the tech chase season, but he has been putting in the effort in his own practice as well as playing in some brackets. I mean, in shell shock just recently, um, one of the Michigan PR brackets, he actually took, was it third place, uh, fourth place, top eight somewhere. I forgot where it was, but I'm pretty sure Yoder I made top eight. Seventh. Seventh. Um, okay. Well, a little bit lower than I thought, but still making a top eight in a in a in a bracket with you know sixty plus in it, it it's a good spot to be. So you can see yeah. the improvement that he's been making. Jay Goody also really strong. But I, I think you mentioned that one thing that Tom did mention is just the kind of the difference in in play and and skill when it comes to the top players on the team down to the bottom. And I think you see that big of a little bit of a bigger gap in Concordia. Yoder's kind of up top. Jay Goody's a little bit behind him. And then it gets a little bit lower where Oakland, of course, they have those two really good players that uh, that Tom was mentioning. But I mean, you can't sleep on, on Werbel Nerfer and Saturn has actually been been making some yeah. moves too. He's been playing really well. Yeah, the, the squad behind the Golden Grizzlies is crazy stacked. Um, when you think of like the upper mid talent in Michigan, um, they are what I would consider to be like that very well rounded unit. Um, and it's been consistent all season long. Like, there's a reason why these guys were almost a shoe in to be a top four position holder. Um, and they had kind of like little like spurts of brilliance in their play where like, whoa, they could have maybe pushed for to be second place um, at times. Like they had multiple 
close instances versus Michigan State. They split versus Davenport. They beat CMU 2-0. Or they, I think they only really lost to CMU 2-0 besides Michigan mm -hmm. State. Yeah. And they split with uh, Concordia. So, like, they, they were, like, this really comfortable middle ground team. But um, there's only a few teams, um, Michigan State, Davenport, and Oakland, who had a one-player show multiple times during a season where one player took out a whole team by themselves and Oakland University was one of those teams. So I don't think we're going to see something like that with this matchup of OU versus UAA, but I think if they can see a start with Saturn, we might be able to see Oakland pull out ahead by like a good one to two players. And it's really going to force CUAA to really kind of like come back into this to stand a chance. That said, the winner of this match we're about to see here shortly first, Oakland CUA has to advance to play against Michigan State, who, like we mentioned, is unbeaten. The number one seed has not yet dropped a game in the regular season, 14-0 and going into the playoffs. Realistically, do you see the winner of one of these games standing a chance against Michigan State? And if not, is there anyone that you guys think can take them down today? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, To play devil's advocate, I think... Davenport probably has the strongest chance like we've kind of like state like kind of like shouted from the mountaintops right all regular season is that Davenport is the real is the most likely candidate for being able to beat Michigan State in one single crew battle it could like they could maybe have taken two but if there's one to take it's got to be this one where they're in the finals um but I think Davenport if Bass Ness is going yeah. if Bass Ness is playing <laughs> as good as he can um, one best Ness at peak performance could beat Michigan. Put a could beat a whole Michigan State team. Oh, for sure. And, and that's one thing Best Ness has said. He's taking these playoffs really seriously. He is a scholarship player on Davenport's team. Um, they, they invited him to go to school from Utah to play on Davenport's team. So this is something he's he's taken seriously. Um, he, he said that. And man, it can be scary when he gets on a roll. He, we've seen him play a few of his, um, you know, secondary characters. We've seen him bust out the Ness a few times, and, and he has just run crazy with it. Central is a really good team, and I think he took what seven stocks from them um, when they played last. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, wow. Eleven yeah. stocks from Central. Um, granted, MSU probably you know has a little bit more talent than Central on it, but you let Best Ness get on a roll against even some of their their best players at MSU, they could run into a wall. They could have some trouble. Yeah, and in the last week of the regular season, it, Best Ness was playing Ness against uh, the Michigan State squad, and, and it, it, they definitely lost. They lost as MSU was fourteen and zero heading into the playoffs here, but it was pretty close. And it, it almost feels like that's your for a lot of these teams, like when they're going up against Davenport, that's the time bomb, right? It's like, can you outlast Best Ness to give the rest of your team a chance? So that said, we are about to head into our first match of the day, Concordia versus Oakland University. Um, I am Craig here with Tom and Ori. We are going to be your analysts for the day, keeping you updated with what's going on and also looking forward as this bracket progress. We are going to be handing it over to Maximus and Beb to be our commentators for these first couple of sets. We're going to take a short break before throwing it over to them and bring you into the action right away here. So stay tuned. Hello out there, we're on the air. It's time for some Smash Brothers. We're here, we got playoffs, everything. The day set for a fight. Hi, I am Maximus and I'm joined by my good friend, Beb. How you doing, Beb? 
Yo, I am having an awesome day. I'm super excited. I'm super excited for the playoffs today, but I'm also specifically super excited for this match right here. This is the closest two teams in terms of rankings throughout the team. This is the, you know, fourth and fifth seed going through our eight weeks of Tech Chase Major League. And it's just, you know, kicking off right now. 100 miles an hour. We've already got the starters, I was just told, from both of these teams. Uh, OU starting off with Saturn, kind of a reliable pick throughout this entire season. And then on CUAA side, starting off with Gosman and the Joker um, should be a really good start. I think if, if uh, I think this is going to be, a, there's going to be a lot of ramifications going in after this first set right here in terms of how these teams perform tonight. You know, just in this set and then onward from here. I think if Saturn, who has been known to go on quite a few tears, if he can just go at it right away and kind of blow out CUAA, it could just be over right there. We've seen it, we've seen it done before. But CUAA, yeah. don't count them out. Not one bit, especially what they have. Such heavy hitters, especially... I would predict we see on the back line, like Jay Goody, like Yoder, like two mainstays who have been hitting the lab hard, who have been grinding out all the brackets you can. Like like we see with Jay Goody at uh, Tech, uh, sorry, not, this is Tech Chase, uh, at, at <laughs> Shell Shocked and at Tech Chase. Uh, I did it again. Yeah. But once again, Saturn, yes, obviously Ness player can get on quite a bit of a tear early. Saturn um, is Lucas, actually. Oh, he's a Lucas. I, I apologize. Yes. PK no, boy. Bro. Yeah, same uh, thing. Yeah, same, same but different. And th for, then from there, you also have two very strong players towards the back line with Spectral and Broly. So it's going to be just a battle to see who I, I predict this being very back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, match I don't want to say I don't want to say CUAA is the definite underdog in this. I think Oakland no, has no. probably the most level roster uh, in terms of just skill level across the board. Maybe MSU takes that. I don't know. But for the, all in terms of purposes, Oakland is a really solid, solid crew. They're split, actually. These two teams are, have been split in the two round robins that we played in the regular season. So it's going to be really interesting. CUAA actually got the last win over Oakland in their last matchup. And when it all comes down to one, you know, situation like this, where it's final, final death, you know, sudden death situation, you know, it only takes one game. If you get blown mm -hmm. out this one game, that's your, that's your season. That's it. You're done. So so Oakland, Saturn specifically right now, needs to put on the pressure because I know CUAA, Yoder Leihu, Jay Goody, we said it before, they're going to go off tonight. 100%. Like you just said, you win, you move on, you lose, you go home. It comes down to this. Uh, so I am very, very excited to get into this thing. And it looks like we're getting into the action right now. Again, Saturn with a Lucas coming in first for Oakland University. And Gossman with a Joker, I'm assuming, coming in for uh, CUAA. Falco. We got a Falco. Uh, just kidding. Falco. It's Falco. Continue the trend of saying a person plays a character and then they pull out a different character. But the Falco, instant choice. Love to see it. I've been uh, definitely a good character with some great, great frame data. One thing that I'm a little, little worried about in terms of Gossman with the Falco pick, um, Spacey's, they get edge guarded really hard. Mm -hmm. And Saturn is a character that can edge guard you with Lucas's tools really effectively. And if Saturn gets Gossman off stage, goes for this PK freeze here, doesn't hit it. If he gets those edge guards, it could be a rough start for CUAA. But so far, just very, very even off the start. Just feeling out process, playing some good footsies. And ooh, gets the spike and gets him off stage. Great two combo. And here comes the edge guards, like you just said. It's gonna make it uh -oh, back. Oh, yeah. Uh, never and mind the spike. Back. Yeah, Falco, Falco's fire, the Firefox, the up special is not, does not have the distance that uh, Fox is. Fox would have made it back from that. Falco did not. And that's already CUA's first stop. All right, and now Saturn has the tools, and he's looking to just play a bit with uh, Goth and see how much more extra credit he can get. And he's in a he's in a good position to take a lot of percent too. Yeah, absolutely. Sitting at seventy percent, Belko has kill tools. That up air all the way up at the top, going to kill pretty early. Back air is going to kill super early. Some edge guards with forwarder. He's got the tools, but. Saturn playing really passively right now, throwing out the PK fires, throwing out the Zares, 
getting this cheap percent, only 20% right now about, so not too much of a, of a you know, rollover right now. Dawson is trying to bring this one back right now. Mm -hmm. More more patient play. It's just a bouncy. Who's going to land the first one? He gets him off stage looking for some sort of laser game, but not going to get it. Rope Snake has amazing, amazing Zare tool. It's so weird having a PK, uh, having PK a boy, having boy with, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. But Saturn takes full advantage of that Zare. He does some crazy stuff with it, and we've already seen in this match. Gossin doing a really good job holding on. You know, when he lost that first stock, Oak Oakland and Saturn could have, you know, just started steamrolling from then on. If Gossman can find this stock right now, he'll be in good footing. Exactly. And the two of them right here. Up throw. He's, he's going to get it. At 151%, the pressure's starting to get on Gossman to get this stock. Just get rid of it. He doesn't want to shoot too many lasers right here. We already saw Saturn trying to get the flex. If he can heal right now, that can be really bad for Gossman. And he Ooh, the downhill. Down yeah, that down tilt so strong. Catching Saturn, taking that stock, 87%. Saturn lived a long time there. And I'm worried for Gossman, if he doesn't turn up the heat right now, he's going to take another stock. He keeps making back to stage, but is that back throw? Not gonna Third kill. try is not going to do it. But here comes the edge guards. Ooh, not going to two frame on the down smash. That thing catches a lot of people, but good job getting around it for Gossman. Yeah, you got to kind of angle yourself towards Battlefield to be able to, like, miss that two-frame situation. And even then, sometimes it hits. Saturn taking that stock already down to Gossin's last stock here in the first game of Tech Chase Major League Playoffs. More spacing, more spacing from the spacies. Ooh, Lots of fair. patience coming out here from Gossman. Trying to get that combo. Little bit of damage. Not a ton, though. Seems like Gossman gets in. He wins neutral once or twice. And they can't hold on to a combo. He's got to find some explosive finish here to a stock. Mm -hmm. A lot of things like like the up air. He gets, oh, starting to get. Gets a little drag down fair. But like I said, drag down fair, up air. But not really much of a follow-up after. Look to the back. Ooh, PK freeze. The recovery there with the PK freeze. A little defensive move there from uh, Saturn. So I'd be into a single up there, you know, just tacking on a little bit of percent. They're very equal percents, but you got to realize Saturn working with a full extra life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think if you're Gossin right now, you kind of got to put your blinders on. Don't take this one stock. Uh, you know, you want to get it down to a one stock difference between here because even if Saturn wins, that's only one stock that your team has to deal with after the fact. So if you can take this one stock, make it a closer game, I think CUAA is still in a good spot right here. Exactly. That's the big thing when it comes to playing, say, a normal record set to playing crew battles like this. You got to think about not only just the individual game, but the whole series. That yeah, every you life take, is a single Take point. into account the value of your stock, but that down smash catching him, he, he upbeat way too close to the ledge, left himself so vulnerable. Saturn, two stocks for Oakland right now, already 11-9. A really good start for Saturn. Very ex excellent, excellent start. Gossman, like I said, he did he did a lot he could. He got one stock off. He couldn't, uh, there were many cases we saw, he couldn't he get the starters of this combo, but he just couldn't really extend them to where he wanted them to be. Yeah, Excellent absolutely. Job. That was the, kind of the story of that game. Uh, Saturn was playing pretty passively once he got that lead. You know, he just took the trades. He got the easy damage with the Zare, the uh, the PK fire. He was using that quite a bit. And, you know, that's the, that's the state of mind you have to be in when you're ahead in a crew battle because you want that value of that last stock because Saturn was at 80, 90%, maybe higher by the end of that game right there. That doesn't matter anymore. He gets that full stock back. That is a 90% heal value there in terms of just, you know, restarting it. And then on top of that, didn't lose his second stock. That just makes it all the harder for CUAA to bring this back in. We were talking earlier, you know, you've got the Jay Goody and the Yoder Leahy who on CUAA. I'm wondering if maybe they send in one of their, one of their, you know, I don't want to say better players, but better players in right now to extinguish this fire before Saturn and Oakland kind of start rolling here. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that statement. I'd agree with that, that, that logic behind it where 
if you have a character, if you have a player like Saturn who can start early and has done and has rolled in the past, like uh, you'd probably want to exactly like perfect analogy, stop the fire before it spreads. So stop I could PK see fire. <laughs> PK fire. Exactly. Uh, so I could I see just, somebody like I just got word. Um, Hodge is actually making his appearance now. Um, so Hodge is coming in right now. Let's see. Let's see what they can do. Okay. What a great start to uh, round one of the Tech Chase Major League Playoffs. Super, super hype stuff. Best Collegiate Smash in Michigan. This has been an awesome series. And seeing the culmination of that throughout these eight weeks is so awesome. Again, if you're just joining us for the, this is your first week, this is your second week, whatever it is. We've been doing this for eight weeks. There's a 30 second time limit um, between when you start any other round than the first round. So we've seen this 30 seconds dropping down. Once the timer hits 9.30, uh, we will start the match. Uh, Saturn sitting pretty, two stocks. Uh, Hodge with the Samus, three stocks right now. And they're off. And we've seen just like any sort of bracket set you played before. Uh, there's a different mindset from being up three stocks to one to three stocks to two. In this case where you can easily just come back, take one stock, and you're pretty much even back up. It's much a much safer place to be, so that's why I feel like Saturn is in a much more, uh, much safer position. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yes, Hodge can just take these two stocks, not lose a stock. Maybe that happens, but we've seen Saturn with the defensive play. It's so hard to finish off these stocks from Saturn. We saw Haas Gosman have trouble with it. Um, I see, even if. CUA comes out this one alive. I don't see them doing it without losing a stock, at least. I agree. Uh, but yes, I can see a lot of. I'd expect to see a lot of patient play, especially from Hog as a Samus. You know, keeping his distance, keeping his space, charging his char charging shots, making sure he has everything set for it before it engages. Um, that's the that's the benefit of playing Samus. You've got all those projectiles where you can. Oh no! Oh, and the FSD already. That is so unfortunate for Hog. But right away with the charge shot. Not going to let this one go. Not going to get steamrolled. But Saturn already starting to move into this second stock. Exactly right here. And now Saturn's looking at this and he's like, okay, pretty much an even game. And great, great spacing of the dare. Sorry, the dare. Even game. You're you're laughed right. CUAA is laughed right now. Not only in the percent of this game, but also you know in the overall rankings. They're on another player under them. So this is this is a really um, important spot for CUAA to to finish this off. Such a good play with that uh, with that up special, catching the recovery, the high recovery there. Saturn is playing like a monster. Like you said, and he's rolling now. For Hog, he has to just create space, take a deep breath, try and get patience, but Saturn is not letting him. He is all over. He knows. He's, he smells the blood in the water, and he's looking for the kill. And he's already rolling, rolling, rolling with this percent right now in this in this uh, last stock situation for Hog. Good shield there on the PK for he's not going to get caught out. That's the second time that Saturn's gone for it, and Hog hasn't got hit with it yet. So that's good stuff. But you know that's going to steal a stock when it does hit. Now if you're Hog, you're like, okay, you're just, you're thinking of survival, but you just need to get that one stock Ooh. with the spike. Yes, kind of, kind of, he was on stage too. Hog was on stage, but the multi-hit situation there, you can kind of drag them along with regular multi-hit moves into that down air. Super good setup from Saturn. Dominant performance thus far. Did he lose a stock that game? He did not lose a stock. Wow! Just clean, clean, dominant three stock. And now you're thinking, okay, the fire's getting pretty big. The PK fire's starting to spread a lot. Who do you send in? You get the Jay Goody, you got the Yoder. You just, like, uh... Smitty's, who? Smitty's, so right now, right now, and they Smitty. have the Sorry, option of Yoder Leahy who, Smitty, and Jay Goody. If they sent in Gossman and Hog, I'm going to assume they're not going to send in Smitty in this situation. That's my that's my opinion. That's the way it looks to me. Usually Hog is the you know alternate in this situation. So we either see Jay Goody or Yoder Leihu. In previous weeks, I'm gonna bet 
they're going to go with the Jay Goody in this situation. Having Yoder Leahy, who as the final member of this roster, is really important. And there we see it. Jay Goody coming in here with his ESS, trying to clean up this, this Lucas problem for CUAA. But he has to use it because remember, this is a different character than what we saw uh, towards just a week ago. This oh, character God, this character got nerfed changed. too! Yes, this character has seen some changes, seen some nerfs, uh, particularly with the up special. And there was another move, I just can't remember it. I think it was one of the areas. As, as, as frequent Jay Goody is on the Michigan uh, PR circuit, um, the Wi-Fi PR circuit, I believe I, I, I have every I have every confidence that Jay Goody has played this character since and still still kind of schmoovin' with her. Mm -hmm. That said, like the character still has plenty of tools, plenty of abilities. The core frame core frame of the character still exists. There are just certain things that they're not going to be as responsive as before, like the uh, rocket boots. Yeah, and, and also it's a really defensive oriented character if you get those if you get those charge sorry the, the the paralyzer you get those down smash paralyzes you don't you don't have to really put yourself in too much trouble to get those so if jay goody can just delete these two stocks oakland's back into the, sorry uh cuaa's back into this but mm -hmm. saturn has not let that happen thus far in this set no he is still just all over it but like you said saturn the reflect ZSS, a more defensive-oriented character. I would say even more so now after the changes. Um, and, yeah, Jay Goody getting something a little bit started, just sort of poking and prodding. Yes. Gets the paralyzer. At this point, at this point you got to think about, like, chess. If you're ahead in chess, you can trade all day. You can trade stocks one-to-one. -one. You can change chess pieces one-to-one -to -one all day, and you will come out on top at the end. And that's the strategy right now of Oakland. They're just taking these trades. Right now, Saturn's doing more than that. But I feel from here on out, with Jay Goody and Yodir Leihihu, the caliber of players that they are, I could see it, you know, even right now. And that's not good for CUAA. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great job against getting wow, over what paralyzer. A Gets him off stage, and he's that's not, not going to die. Kill? He's still alive. Doesn't get the down smash either. The aggressive Zare jumping up from ledge, hitting him with the Zare right out of that down smash. Saturn is playing like he's ahead. That up special, uh, Rocket Boots going to catch him, going to kill. Finally, only one stock left for Saturn. Jay Goody's sitting good with three stocks. Can he hold on to him? If Jay Goody can hold on with three stocks, I gotta say, they'd be the team will be in a much, much better and sick, like more comfortable position. If you can keep it, it to one game where if you just play good one game and you can even it up, you're in a good position in a crew battle. Right now, that's impossible to even it up in this game. You have to go, you have to play well here, and then you have to play well in the next game. And that's a lot of pressure. All right. Exactly. And here he is trying to get something started, getting the percent early, but not getting the down smash paralyzer he's gotten. I'm looking for yeah, already 63%. Back air is not going to kill yet. Ooh, good flip kick jump there. Saving him. Oh, the stage break from the lightning. Oh, okay. At least it was at the end of his his stock. Mm -hmm. At least it wasn't a fresh stock. He yeah. got a lot. Yo, sorry, Jay Goody had, uh, got a lot out of that stock. A lot of distance, a lot of mileage. And now he's going to try and finish off Saturn the best he can. Great job shielding through it. The back air clanks with the paralyzer. Again, just that just that defensive play. If you throw those projectiles, you shoot those projectiles, you know, you down smash, you're not putting yourself at that much of a risk. You've got that flip kick jump, jump as a get out of jail free card, really. And it's going to connect and it's going to kill. Jay Goody starting to roll. Starting to roll, starting to feel it. And yeah, this could be two stocks, same situation as we saw with uh, Saturn. Just lost one stock and then he rolled through another game. Can we see the very same thing happen? Like, can we see Jay Goody do the exact same thing? It's gonna, it's probably going to have to happen. If it, if there's ever a time where Jay Goody has to, you know, buckle in, really put on his blinders and just tear through this Oakland roster, it's right now. It's game time, it's game mode. And I feel like, yeah, I, I can definitely see Jay Goody pulling this back and putting the team back to even it up. But. Regardless of all that, regardless of what CUAA has to do now, Saturn, 
I think Saturn's probably the best player in the whole in 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 all of Tech Chase Major League for starting good. Maybe Hawk. Hawk is also amazing at just starting for a roster. But Saturn definitely that you know the the send him in game one. He's he's going to go with advantage. I don't think there's been many points where Saturn's gone into a game and lost more stocks than he's taken. I haven't seen that much myself either. Um, and But like you said, we're going into the next character on Oakland's team. Uh, and you said earlier... It looks like it's going to be Werbel Nerfer with the Ken, yep. by the way. Werbel Nerfer, you said like across the board, uh, comparable just with like MSU, the most level skill-wise. Uh, Absolutely. So we see a lot of teams, Davenport stings to mind, where, where you, you, you have that one really, really good player in Best Nest. Rest of the roster, there's a gap there. There you can't you can't say anything else. But Oakland doesn't have that problem. They've got a level roster from start to finish. I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to be an interesting matchup. Not uh, personally, I'm not too familiar with the uh, Ken CSS matchup, but I imagine it's just going to be a battle of mobility versus power. So yeah, I mean that's that's really you're fighting Shodos. Stay away from them. That's your trick. And I think Zero Suit Samus is a really good character to play in that style. So if Jay Goody can play defensive, hold on to these stocks, get the paralyzes, get the side B with the whip, and finish off into these kills, I think he'll be in a good spot. But if he gets too aggressive and Werbel Nerfer gets the, you know, true Shoryu, gets the kills early, it could spell doom for CUAA. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, um, a big thing is if you're if you're Jay Goody, you're looking for some early get him off stage and then Gimp on. Obviously, the recovery is it's it's manageable. It's very it's surprisingly good between the Tatsu and the Shoryu. Um, yeah. But you can easily Gimp these Shoryus. And Sorry, also, you know, uh, Zero Suit Sam is really good at racking up percent. If you can find those kills with the uh, Rocket Boots jump or whatever it's called, the up special, and you find those kills you're in a good spot but obviously just... that's the name that's the name of the game what what's a, that was uh that was pretty crazy with the parries looking like street fighter out here now i might be mistaken but i think earl Oob gets the rocket boots but it's not going to kill ken is a very heavy boy a lot of muscle on that yeah and he was in the middle of the stage too yep Ooh, true sure you still not going to kill though both these players already throwing out their big moves the back, back is gonna do it as Big boot. Now, I might be mistaken, but I think earlier I did see Tatsu just go straight through a ZSS side beat. So. It has some it has some invincibilities, invincibility frames where where you can go through. That was one of the big, big buffs, uh, not in the last patch, but uh, recently enough where you can Tatsu through projectiles because you have invincibility on it. Mm -hmm. Ken, Werble's showing off. Ooh, Ooh, lots of damage here coming out. from Werble. Shown Ken's a uh, little bit of spacing ability, throwing out a lot of Hadoukens. Looks like Oakland's made all of the necessary adjustments. The last time these two teams played in regular season, CUAA won. See you, mm -hmm. and we are not seeing the same thing right now. No, we. It seems like Oakland has made the adjustments, made the downloads, and but Jay Good Goody. Call out there. Good call out. Jay Goody's not going down without a fight. Ooh, the down tilts. I'm surprised Actually, he didn't go for any sort of a shield break there. Mm -hmm. See you, uh, Jay Goody trying to hold on to this last stock. 75% really getting into True Shore. You kill material here. Trying to see if he can maybe eke out another stock over against Werbel. Ooh, the, the, call, the roll! He called out that roll so effectively. Verbal Nerfer might have just, you know, ended CUA's chances. I don't want to count out uh, CUA's potentially best player in Yoder Leahy Who because Luigi's a monster and he'll make you pay for it. But that could have just been that could have just been the set right there. Could have been, could have been. But like you said, eight with eight stocks to work with, Oakland's feeling comfortable. They're feeling safe. They have but one they can't less. Get they can't get complacent. That's exactly. the thing you gotta remember in this situation because Yoder Leahy who's here, if he grabs you, you will die. 
he the, yes exactly the luigi shenanigans the z uh the zero to deaths all from that plunger that that plunger i swear is one of the scariest things in this game and it, it's uh, so nuts it's so it's nuts so especially especially not just in in re in regular competition singles competition but in crew battles the ability to just zero to death your opponent and just remove stocks from your opponent's team is so powerful that gets into the the whole crew battle meta where there's certain characters that are just built for crew battles certain characters it's so well. cool it's so cool like being, being somebody who commentates a lot of regular singles events and then moving into this format with the crew battles, it's so cool seeing the just the, the micro adjustments that you have to make in terms of game plan. And, you know, right now we've seen Oakland doing a really good job at that. Mm -hmm. Waiting down to 30 seconds. Uh, Wordle Nerfer lost one stock that last match. Gonna come in with two stocks here. Uh, if anything, on an, in an optimal situation, if it's 20xx right now, that's only two grabs for uh, Yoder Lehihu. Exactly. Now we're just waiting off to the races. Can Yoder Lehihu be the hero of Korea? You know, to be the hero in this situation, he has to play like a villain, too. He's exactly, yeah. What we're seeing right now, you gotta just wait for your opponent to come in because Werble Nerfer doesn't want to approach. We're seeing that because when you approach, you get grabbed. But there's you gotta finish off you gotta finish off Yoder as well. There's no point in timing people out in this format because you start back with the same percent. There's no reset, there's nothing. So sometime they've got to, you know, interact with each other. And but I can predict a lot of this coming from the set. A lot of patience. The most patient play you can imagine. Just from sheer like concern, but gets the down smash. We'll follow up. Yeah, I mean, right now, you don't want to get too offensive if you're Werbel Nerfer here. You are ahead. Play like you're ahead. Force Yoder to approach. Force Yoder to, you know, meet you in the middle. And then just get the free damage. Yoder, Yoder's got a game plan, though. Yoder obviously has a game plan. It might not be the most fun to watch right now, but no. he's got a game plan. And if you if you want to win from this situation, you have to stick with it. He's just exactly patience, patience. Great parry on the on the plunger. Werble Nerfer having a having a great time, knowing he's ahead, just just forcing Yoder to interact with him, and that's going to be the bane of CUAA. Verbal Nerfer's response right now. He's not he's not getting ahead of himself. He, they're just they're just chilling out on the ledge. He'll take the stock when he takes the stock. If he doesn't take it now, he'll let the next person take the stock. And then after that, there's another person. Patience, 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 but Yoder getting the dash attack. Trying to find something to start up with. But like you said, Verbal Nerfer is wow. all over him. Werbel Nerfer has game. not gotten grabbed yet. I don't oh. think. Oh, and I say it. He doesn't get it. He misses. And he got coin. I oh, got coin twice. No. no. Oh my goodness. What a terrible situation to be in if you're CUAA. If you're if you're Yoda, you're you're sweating a little bit. You're like, okay. You're just trying to take a deep breath and get back to your game. Ooh, just the toe, just the down tilt catching Luigi. Werbel Nerfer is playing like a monster. First Saturn, now Werbel Nerfer. Uh, OU has come to play today. They are here, but Yoder getting one. A nice ledge jump with the back air. Lots of damage here. Into True Shoryu, getting all that damage. True Shoryu, too. Oh, and that's another stock! This, is, it's really this the, is an even game, but it's not an even set. No, it's really showing the battle. This is really the battle of the shore use just this matchup. That's a grab. Oh, um, and, and he here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He, 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 he just go for the damage. Went for the Another safer damage option. Oh, Spot Dodge doesn't go. get through that grab. That's the second time he went for that uh, that dash attack to finish that combo, and that's not what you got to do here. Gets the smash, gets okay. the up smash okay. to do it. CUAA is still in this. 
One stock, still in this. One stock is all you, is a dream. You got the dream. You can grab it an infinite amount of times in one stock. That's one stock to six. Really setting up, really setting up a, uh, really setting up like a Hallmark Channel movie moment. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Yoder Hu can, can really turn it on right now. We've seen it in singles events. We've seen it last week in the head to head final, you know, sudden death situation that Yoder had to play to get into this fifth seed right now to get into this game. Yoder can turn it up. And if, like I said, you can grab an infinite amount of times in one stock if you don't die. That's exactly. as many kills as you want. Just, just get them. Just, just find the kill. Just grab them. Just, just grab them. Just make and that if plunger you're land. University right now. Just don't get grabbed. Exactly. Warble that's played a great job where he forced Yoder to interact with him, and then he punished him because you don't want to interact. Like, like that was that's the game plan. He saw the game plan and he broke it down, and he just out patience. Yoder Lehihu. Outpatienced and exactly just made him play his game. Like it was just about who's gonna make who Ken's do what game they want. Ken's game is hitting you. Ken's exactly. game is hitting you very hard. And in that game, uh, although Warble didn't come off with the win, Oakland's already had. Just make those trades, finish it off. Sending in Broly, Oakland, trying to finish it off with the Krom. Usually we see the Roy coming out from Broly, so this is an interesting pick. Interesting, interesting pick. But I know Krom. I've spent a lot of time I think playing I, Krom. I think I see the. I think I see the strategy here. Finish what you're saying. Yeah, I think I see it too. I think you get you get one upbeat upbeat uh, trade in this situation exactly. from Krom, and you win the game. You win the set, and you move on. You may not like it, it but hey, we're in the case where. There are no friends. There is only move on. You, you're you're looking for the W by any means necessary. If you come out, if you come out of a set ahead, you win a set. The TO is never going to say no. You didn't win. You played lame. You can play as lame as you want. I don't even care because if you're ahead and you are Oakland University, you don't want to get this. But there's one. There's one. Explosive, explosive start in this game for Yodelehihu. I think Broly thought this was going to be a cakewalk, and he got grabbed for his troubles, and he died into happening again. Two. Can he get it again? Oh, gets. That one, he just That's went to damage. the forty percent is a lot of damage. He's only giving him one more chance. Ooh, off stage. Broly not just getting too aggressive with the trade. You don't want to force it. If you're in the situation where you can make an up special trade, or you yeah, bear's going to do it. Win the set. What Excellent. an explosive first game. Amazing. Amazing play from both players. Like you said, we saw Saturn come out strong. We saw Werble Nerfer continue his dominance. And then we see Broly just clean it up at the end with the chair to kill. Excellent play from OU and excellent, excellent job from Concordia, especially excellent like season. Excellent season for CUAA. That cannot be understated. At the beginning, I didn't know any player from CUA. Yoder Lehu, Jay Goody, Smitty, Gossman, and Hog have really turned up what I thought CUAA esports could do. And they made it all the way here. Somebody's got to lose. Somebody's got to go home right now. Today, Oakland was the better team. We saw that. We saw that from the start with Saturn going on a, with a dominant performance, establishing the lead. Then we saw a uh, verbal nerfer come in, play patient, you know, Undo the strategy that CUAA had, that Jay Goody had, finish finish off that team, and then Broly comes in, sweeps it up. And it looks like we are going to be heading back to the analyst shortly. So, yep. Oh, we, we have okay. a little time for an interview, little interview as well. And yeah, I gotta say Concordia, excellent, excellent season. Uh, I like exactly what you said when they come into the season. The only two names I'd ever heard of were Yoder and Jay Goody. But people like Gossman, people like Smitty, people like Hodge, uh, yeah, really, really shown throughout the season. And yeah, their names I'm not going to forget now. Hey, Winrow, I don't want to sound like an idiot on stream. Uh, who does Oakland play next?
Oakland, Ooh. with that win over CUA, finds themselves in the crosshairs of the Deadeye team, the 14-0 regular season MSU Spartans. What a dangerous place to be in. I remember right towards the beginning, towards the uh, very early of the season, this was the original battle of the undefeated. Uh, the two teams were both undefeated when they met earlier in the season. After the first MSU. couple of weeks? Yep, and then uh, MSU took that first one. Let's see if Oakland can make a comeback and say, hey, we don't care how many wins you have, we're going to give you your first loss. The way they were playing against CUAA, I think they're going to have a strong performance against MSU. It's really hard to bet against MSU. And I hope, I hope that Oakland shuts me up. I hope Oakland shuts every, all the MSU boys chanting in the chat right now. I hope Oakland shuts you up. Big, big words, but it looks like uh, coming in for the interview, we're going to have Saturn. Yo, big starter. I got a chance to talk starter. to Saturn early, early in the, uh, early in the season. And uh, after, after the, uh, after the sweep, Saturn is one of the players that have made the uh, trek made the sweep of a full team. I believe it was Ferris or Kettering, if I had to guess, unfortunately for you, Maximus. I wasn't on the team then. So you weren't on the team yet. You can't take any. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't you. You would have won the whole set. I have, I have history against PK boys, but honestly, I don't think I don't <laughs> even think I could have. Uh, I don't think I could have taken Saturn. Put out the fire. I, I could have put it in the bucket, but. <laughs> so, yeah. What? What an awesome start to what should be one of the one of the best, you know, Wi-Fi events that that has been run in Michigan. This collegiate esports situation that that uh, Tech Chase Major League is going on right now. It's been it's been flawless from top to bottom. I've been I've been I've had the honor of, you know, commentating every single week of this Tech Chase Major League, and it has been amazing seeing the work that the tos that everybody's doing that all the all the teams are putting in all that work it's so awesome being a part of this exactly and i first was a uh, i first found out about i'm like hmm you know this is pretty interesting that i was just coming back into after you know taking a bit of an absence from the game but mm -hmm. i came into it and immediately it was like this is amazing this is what i've always wanted to see from the game i'm happy that somebody finally put it together and ever since then it's been off to the races with phenomenal Phenomenal matches, phenomenal content, and then I got I myself got to uh, join my, my school for yeah I got to participate a little bit towards the end and uh, without a doubt I I cannot look forward to not only what's coming rest to the day, what's coming for the rest of the day but also what's coming in the future in future the future seasons. for Tech Chase Major League for sure I am super excited to see what kind of news we got coming up for that and then on top of that just 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 flawless execution thus far in in this season it could not have gone any better and we're only on the first match of the day it'll only get better from here looks like we're gonna get saturn joining us very shortly here super excited to talk to saturn saturn hey, are you there yeah i'm here awesome what first off first off what a performance Starting off, getting the advantage for your team, clutching out that game, you are instrumental in that win. You got to feel great right now. Yeah, um, I was just really happy that I was able to hold on to my stocks from mostly. Uh, they were able to do a lot of percent to me, but I was able to, I guess, keep away and make sure that I held my stocks in. I know like um, every stock at the end of each game was like, I was at like 90 or like 100. So it was just a matter of me like, keeping my stocks for as long as possible. Yeah, that value goes such a long way. Just deleting that 100% going into the next match is huge. Maximus, do you got any questions for uh, Saturn? Uh, yes, I have basically. So with that done, an amazing, amazing performance from you guys. Uh, you guys now have MSU coming up. Do you have any any hopes, any ideas? Do you <laughs> have a win. game plan? Well, yeah, the plan, the plan is, always the plan is to win. Uh, and I imagine you guys can't divulge your inner team tactic <laughs> but uh uh do you have any insight are you guys looking for blood after the after you know frequent times playing them uh yeah it's it's very um fighting msu uh, the other two times have been very um interesting crew battles um i would say that we have a better idea of what to expect now 
I would say. Uh, like the first, the first crew battle was kind of like you know understanding like the skill level and everything, understanding where everyone's coming from. The second one, they kind of got a read on us more so. Um, so I think the important thing for this one coming up is um, understanding who is descending when and to uh, capitalize on mistakes and stuff like that. You say who to send in when, I think it's been almost decided that uh, you are the one to send in first. You've had such dominating performances coming from first place. I see you I see you start for Oakland so frequently. You do such an excellent job at just starting the pace of the match, getting that advantage, and just making those trades after that. So good stuff for you. I gotta ask you a little bit of a lighthearted question for you. Um, what's okay. give me a give me a song from the game day, the Tech Chase Major League uh, playlist that you got running right now? What's a what's a song that's going through your head right now that's hyping you up for these games? Oh, uh, <laughs> so I actually normally play with game audio, but mm -hmm. uh, hmm, that's a that's a good that's a tough one actually. Uh, hmm. Nothing, nothing really comes to mind if I'm being honest. Okay, uh, okay, I'll probably, I'll put, I'll put words in your mouth from your recent tweet. I'm gonna have to say it's the, it's the new Silk Money joint, Anderson <laughs> Pack, Bruno Mars, killing it. Uh, you gotta, you love to see it. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it was awesome hearing from you. Do you have any last words for the audiences before you go against the giant MSU? Um, all I can say is I hope that uh, my team can pull together and we do the best we can. Absolutely. Great, strong words coming out from uh, Oakland University's own Saturn. Thank you for joining us. It looks like we'll be sending it back to the analyst team very shortly. Okay, thanks for having me. We'll be right back with some action after this. See you in a minute.